Hello, everyone. My name is Sean Corson. I am the Chief Analytics Officer and a co-founder at Dacity. Today, I'm going to be talking about our email dashboard and how the data contained within that dashboard can help you to drive more effective uh, email campaigns. Uh, email is still the primary retention channel for many merchants. Um, and really, the goal of your email campaigns should be to uh, drive engagement, uh, of course, drive transactions. Um, all while minimizing unsubscribe rates. Uh, an effective email campaign uh, can really help drive customer repurchase rates across an entire organization um, and is typically the most cost-effective way to drive engagement and transactions. So when we're thinking about the email funnel, the first step in that funnel is opens. Um, before we get started, I wanna mention that uh, we are filtering here on this dashboard uh, for only email campaigns. We have filtered out automated emails. Um, automated emails like abandoned cart emails uh, tend to have much higher engagement rates. So we wanna pull those out so we are just looking at standard email campaigns. Now, when you're looking at your opens and your open rates, um, a good benchmark is somewhere around 20%, uh, an open rate of 20%. Um, but that can vary widely depending on your brand, depending on your products, your price points. Um, as well as the time of year. So emails sent during peak periods are typically going to have higher open rates. If you notice that your open rates are lagging either year over year or uh, that they are uh, just well below that 20% benchmark, um, think about your subject lines. Test out different subject lines. Uh, if you're offering a discount in an email, put that discount in the subject line. Um, just think of ways to use that subject line to bring customers into your email and get them to engage. The next step in the funnel, typically uh, clicks and click rates. And I wanna be specific here, I'm talking about click to open rates. So that's total clicks divided by total opens. Um, this, when someone clicks on an email, they are showing intent to engage. Open rates can be a little misleading. Um, sometimes people open an email by accident or there are some email providers that count something as an open when it's not actually an open. But clicks show, show intent. So. Um, this is probably one of the most important metrics in terms of email engagement. Uh, it's hard to benchmark this rate. It can range anywhere from a click to open rate of 6% to 20%. Anywhere within that range can be acceptable. Again, um, it's really best to look at kind of year over year performance and make sure that, uh, that your email uh, click to open rates are uh, flat or trending up. Um, if you notice that they are not, they are trending down or you are well below those benchmarks, um, think about the content of your email. And I can't stress this enough, test different emails, test, test, test. So um, test different products, test different content, test uh, different price points, different imagery. Um, really play around with how that email looks. What are customers seeing when they get into that email after they open it? Um, and uh, test that stuff until you can find optimal click rates for your customer base. Next, let's take a look at unsubscribe rates. So uh, unsubscribe rates are a crucial metric um, and something that you typically don't tend to notice until there's actually an issue. Um, benchmarking unsubscribe rates for any one campaign, you might see unsubscribe rates around 0.1%. Um, if you aggregate it up to the monthly level, as you see in this uh, report here, you might see unsubscribe rates by month of 2%. Um, those won't vary too much um, unless you are spamming people. If you start sending uh, one or two emails every day, you will see, obviously see unsubscribe rates tick up. Um, if you see unsubscribe rates that are much higher than those rates, uh, you really want to think about, again, the content of your email. Are you providing customers with engaging content, um, uh, showing them products that they might be interested in? Um, and if unsubscribe rates are ticking up, that is, it is definitely a uh, giant red exclamation point. Um, you, every email you have is valuable. Every email you send is valuable. So every person that unsubscribes is another loss opportunity to um, engage with that person through your email channel. So finally for email, as I mentioned, you wanna think about transactions as well. Um, every email that you send 
Uh, those engagement metrics are important. Opens, clicks, um, obviously maintaining a low unsubscribe rate. But at the end of the day, you want to be uh, producing orders and revenue from those email campaigns. So as we can see in this table, uh, for each campaign, we've aggregated up uh, many of these metrics and included orders and sales and units to make sure that you understand, hey, this campaign, any one campaign might be driving um, a lot of engagement, but it's not driving transactions. So you need to think about things like, are we pushing people to the right pages on our site? Um, are we putting products in the email and then showing them the same products on the site? Um, uh, making sure that that transition from the email uh, content to the site is seamless and showing customers what they want to see. Thanks everyone. Um, to wrap things up, I uh, just wanna thank you for joining me. Hope you found this information helpful. Uh, look for more digestible data series in the next few weeks from Dacity. Um, and in the meantime, if you wanna learn more about Dacity uh, and about our product, um, please send us a note at info at and we'd love to hear from you.